Is this thing on? Hey YouTube, what's up? It's your girl Lavishly Brit and I'm back. Okay, let's just jump straight into this. I am so sorry that it's been taking me ages to get these pregnancy weekly vlogs out. As you all know, if you've been watching the previous ones, that this is my old content from when I was pregnant, this last pregnancy. Um, I really wanted to just kind of be in the moment while going through it and not be worrying about editing and posting and all of those things. And let's just jump straight to the point. I know I've been gone. I know my, my uploads have been very sporadic and I have an explanation for that. I can't believe it happened, but my hard drive crashed on me. And I mean, when I say crash, lost footage, could not get to it. It was scratching and messing up other footage. And I still do not have that. So there will be a lot of videos that are missing that I plan to upload that were like very detailed and informative videos. Can you believe that? And I'm talking about every piece of content that I had planned. There's so much footage lost. I'm still getting over that. This was like a good eight videos minimum. I'm talking about things like your pregnancy car and my birth plan details and a like <clears throat> pregnancy spa day at home. I had so many things recorded and I lost it all. So now that I'm done crying about it, <laughs> I'm still not over it, honestly. Like, and that's what's taking so long for the content to come out because I'm like paying people to try to get them to fix the hard drive and things like that. And I still don't have the hard drive back, by the way. But we're gonna push through. So I'm gonna give you what I got and we're gonna make it shake because your girl is back. I'm trying to come back to YouTube, y'all. So I'm gonna get this video out. Then we're gonna roll out the labor and delivery vlog because I see you asking me on Instagram, okay? I hear your cries. I know you wanna know the details of what happened with that birth and I got you. So watch this video in completion and then the next upload will be my labor and delivery. So there's that. But what we're gonna do today is I'm going to get what content I can gather, whether it's from my phone, my husband's cameras, because he was also vlogging at the time, and I'm going to piece it all together and create as much of a storyline as I can. So the vlog is gonna start at the end of 37 weeks and roll into 38, 39, and 40. So it starts off with me getting my hair done, which is like one of the last big steps until it was gonna be time that I'll be ready to like give birth to this baby at any moment. You need your hair done because nobody wants to be worried about their hair, you know. Good morning. Today is Monday, October 9th, and I am 37 weeks and six days. We're large and in charge. My whole girl's on her way to do my hair, so that's gonna be nice because I need to make sure these are done before I go into labor. But this is what the bump is looking like. I don't feel like it's dropped any more than it has. It's just heavy at this point. But your girl's 142 pounds, large and in charge. And we're going to try to make it through this week. Ooh, we almost there. Ooh. I'm here to tell y'all how good my man, my man, my man is because it is current <laughs> it is currently uh 11 14 p.m and baby and i are hungry so i asked for an egg sandwich with a little bit of cheese not that vegan stuff to each his own but not me and some ham on it and look at them And also with this preparation, it meant getting my daughter's hair together because I knew I was going to be out of commission for at least a month. So I had to do get Noelle's hair done, get Sage's hair done, and get them a cute little style that I felt like would last them at least a month until I would be back on my feet and able to move and groove and start intertwining again with the family. But at this point in this pregnancy, you know I'm having weekly appointments, 38, 39, 40, 
every week there was a checkup. Plus I was scheduling inductions and induction massages. This is what I be needing you to do, pay attention. <laughs> pay attention. Mm -hmm. Getting a contraction. Along with the massages and the prenatal appointments, I was getting weekly adjustments because this pregnancy was dragging my body and I needed every ounce of help that I could get. This started off tonight with like gas, slight stomach ache. I'm just like, oh, I got a bunch of gas, contractions, little Braxton hits. Didn't hurt. Nothing I couldn't tolerate. It progressed slowly, casually over the past hours. Moped around my bathroom trying to find, you know, some comfort and see if I had to throw up, use the bathroom again because I didn't want to get into bed, do all that. It's already hard enough to get up. Decided none of that was comfortable, so I was going to come here in my closet and lay on the floor. I'm still not comfortable. I also, however, was waiting on a big surprise. Grandma, okay, we need a grandma, okay? I got two other kids and I needed all hands on deck to help me with the new baby, the current kids, my husband, my household, all the things. So I called grandma in for backup and grandma always shows up. Yeah, I mean. Oh, that's her right yes, there. Yeah. Mama, mommy. Mommy. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. Yeah, I can Ooh. ride. My goodness. Yes. We're big. Okay, Sage, pour the milk. Here. Come on. Do it. All right. Woo! Slowly. What you making, Noel? French toast. French toast. It is on my meal. You want to show them? We made the French toast. Good I job. love it. Good job. Thank you. What you making? I'm making some dates, Snicker bars. Healthy. <laughs> dates, Snicker bars. Thank you for breakfast. You're welcome. You're welcome. Also, in the week of 38, we had our final, final family photo shoot as a family of four before we became a family of five. I have been planning this photo shoot since the beginning of my pregnancy and I knew I wanted paint involved, pink and blue, because I did not know the gender. And I stuck with that this entire pregnancy i was so proud of myself only my husband knew so there's that little tidbit of information but the photo shoot went off incredible the girls had a blast because they got to play with paint but you know it is what it is we're literally about to get ready to leave once again to head off to this photo shoot family photo shoot this time not just me and my wife but also my two daughters as well and uh, yeah my two twins we're all going to be doing a photo shoot this time all right everybody load it up yep locked and loaded. little daughter big daughter big uncle big mama <laughs> big <Yes>. mama <laughs> Gang, gang. Ugh. And of course, we can't go nowhere without Big Daddy, okay? Some paint brushes and like some plastic tarp, something like that, you know? So do the most. One pink, one blue, that symbolizes girl, a boy, and then also some paint brushes and some little accessories to go with it. This one is, it says pink plunge. This looks really pink. And then uh, blue, let's see which one would go really well with blue. Usually it's like a, like this type of blue, right? Is that too dark? Is this like a light blue or? That looks decent to me. This looks good, I think. This blue is called Someday. All right, y'all, so we're headed, we're on our way to go do these family photos. I only have one look for us to do today. 
I'm not doing the most, although my husband likes to say I'm doing the most. So I just sent him in to Lowe's. Right now I'm in the car with the kids. I sent hubby in to go and um, get some paint because we're doing a shoot today that will involve us with some paint. Hopefully it doesn't get too messy because I do not know the gender and everybody is speculating what I'm having. So I kind of want to play off of that. to week 39 is hubby's birthday good morning y'all today is actually a pretty good day it's my birthday so today i won't really be doing anything special <laughs> i'm actually getting up so that i can get my daughter ready for school i'll be taking her to school and then i also have yet another doctor's appointment for my wife because she is still with child so She's been trying not to have this baby on my birthday, but the contractions are getting stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger. So hopefully she can continue to hold off so she do not have this baby on my birthday. I mean, it's not really that big of a deal because my birthday is really no longer my birthday, right? Especially my birthday month because my youngest daughter's birthday is in October. My birthday is in October and the new baby's birthday will be in October. Just a matter of how close to my birthday will the new baby's due date be. So really, I'm not tripping because it's really no longer about me anyway, right? So, you know, we try to spend a little time with him, but I think we had an appointment that day. She looking mighty comfortable. Mm. They doing work. And the passenger seat swole up. Yep. I'm sleepy, but... Me too. Are you? Yeah. Must be the new age, huh? New age? What are you telling me? You're new age. Damn, I'm doing this. <laughs> I'm going right now. I'm going to do so I'm like, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Did you have your massage? I did. I had one on Sunday. <laughs> Around this time, I think it's when I kind of like vocalize some of my opinions to let's say my more so favorite midwife about some concerns I had with the previous midwife that I would see every other appointment which is basically I feel like it was a little fear mongering going on I don't know maybe that wasn't the case but it just I always left those appointments with her feeling down versus with Amy Amy's my girl if you're looking for a midwife and you're in the Dallas area, I highly suggest her. But I also, this week, had another follow-up appointment, got a massage, had a nail appointment, because you know, you gotta, you gotta get cute. And I also had some last minute work to get done. Now, how I was able to accomplish all of this while preparing for a whole new baby, I don't know. But I got it done, but we went shopping this week. Hubby also found time, don't ask me how, to go give water out to the homeless while I was at home alone. It was a beautiful time, okay? Don't get me wrong. I love being in my house at peace in a silent. What? 
in the world is going on in here? What in the peanut pillow? <laughs> it's a peanut ball. She is engorfed in pillows right now. Balls, pillows. I am. This is to help with my pelvic floor keeping it open. Mmm, okay. And you couldn't use a normal pillow for that? No. Okay. No pillows give. Hey, I respect it. I support it. Get the baby out of there, you feel me? Here's that. Then you lead into week 40. And this is when I'm really like over it. Okay, I'm like, I've been pregnant for 40 weeks. What felt like more like 62, to be honest. That pregnancy seemed so long. All right, y'all. So it's the day before my due date. I'm 39 weeks and six days. But again hubby was doing all the things to keep me happy taking me to target feeding me all of my pregnancy cravings you name it throughout this vlog you will see him taking me to numerous places and picking up numerous things for me because the cravings were craving the baby on the way it's coming coming the baby on the way <laughs> You ready for this, babe? Uh, ready as I'll ever be. <laughs> so we made it to the final week of the pregnancy. I'm at that 40 week appointment. And at this appointment, I really just go into all the details with my midwife. Cause I'm like, I need this baby out and I need this baby out now. Because this was the first time that I ever went past my due date. And I was like, <laughs> what? Me and my kids, we come on our due date. We're on time never late so i was a little shocked because especially the weeks leading up to this as you'll see in the previous vlogs there were signs that my body was ready to hit eject on this baby and to make it to the 40 week appointment i was shocked this is bumping babies in the best position possible hopefully we meet our baby tonight i am however having a hard time moving it almost happened last night i was ready to uh did we make it to your husband's birthday Past it. Past it. Okay. I knew it was coming. I thought about that the other day. I said, you share a birthday with him. Well, now I'm trying not to have these babies share a birthday with my last baby, Sage. Oh, Her birthday is on Monday, the 30th. Oh, oh my gosh. Wouldn't that be crazy if we had another? So yeah. close together. For water breaks, you just get a towel and be ready for that baby. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. one It was them squats. It was the squats that did it. Was it? It was the squats. You've done everything else but the bully juice squats. All of a sudden, you come out there with me, you do the workout, and guess what? Contractions, bumping, babies in the best position possible. Come on now. Uh, I guess. Nah, you know what? <laughs> I don't even want to take the credit. I don't do this for the accolades. I do this because I love you. So, you know what? Whatever reason you want to choose, <laughs> That's why the baby is in the best position and you having these amazing contractions, so. I left that appointment feeling motivated, like, okay, this baby's coming. And little did I know the baby was going to be coming fairly soon. So the next day rolled on like a normal day and then you'll find out what happens in the next upload because your girl went into labor. Uh, I, I tried to get up as fast as possible because I was like, whoa, what is it's that? Coming. Mm. It literally felt like something was falling out. I barely had time to react. But to answer the question, yes, I am coming back to YouTube. I have things planned out. Don't hesitate to comment and let me know what you want to see. Also, make sure you follow me on all social media platforms, TikTok, Instagram. There's probably some other Pinterest. Who knows? I don't know. LCK is at Lavishly Brit on every platform okay i keep it simple for you and i'll have it all linked down below so and then we'll kind of go through like what life has been like the past year after having baby and then we'll be in real time and we could be besties again because i miss you without further ado if you enjoyed this video make sure you give it a, a thumbs up comment down below let me know what you want to see moving forward in the new year and as always remember you're popping you're beautiful and i love you mm -hmm. bye